Hello everyone! Today I'm gonna show you how I film my mushroom time lapse on this Redmi Note 9 Pro. Now, if you've been following my channel, then you may know that I filmed multiple time lapse videos on this phone. And I was really amazed that a budget phone can film long time lapse videos. But before I teach you how to make your own time lapse, let's take a look at one of my short time lapse videos filmed on this phone so you'll have an idea of what the results will look like. I'm gonna show you this 21R mushroom time lapse and this was filmed outside my window on an old table. So I filmed it through the glass and that's why it's a bit blurry. But if you wanna watch all of the original videos, you can find them here on my YouTube channel. Pretty satisfying to watch. So that's a pretty good example of what a time lapse on this phone will look like. To create your own time lapse, first open a camera app and you can swipe left or right to find it if you rearranged your camera app. But on my phone, I can swipe up here and find it in the more panel. So if you don't find it here, then don't worry, you can still find it over here. If I tap edit, I can also edit it and then place time lapse next to photo and video so that I can just swipe and find it there. But I placed it here since I don't use it frequently. Click on time lapse, then select your lens. So the Redmi Note 9 Pro has these buttons over here, 1x, 2x, 0.6x. So we can have a wider angle, regular, or zoomed in. And you can also zoom in more by pinching like that. When you wanna record your time lapse, press this red button to start. But before that, I'm going to show you a few more settings that you can adjust. So on the top, there are some options here. You can tap this like three lines icon. And then you have the video quality selector. So we have 720, 1080, and 4K. If you want the highest quality, choose 4K. If you want in between, 1080. And the lowest is 720. There's also movie frame, grid lines, and straighten. So I can put the grid lines and movie frame and this will help me frame my shot. If I don't want it to look cinematic, then I can turn off the movie frame and it goes back to the original aspect ratio. This button over here allows you to add some filters. So tap on it and then we can select gold vibes. Oh wow, that looks pretty cool. Actually my first time looking at this. Lime, summer, fantasy, encounter, breeze, lost, central, nordic, and cyberpunk. Black ice, Rome. Oh, there's actually a lot. I thought that was it. So, you have a lot of different options. This button over here toggles the flash. Now, I wouldn't recommend using the flash when filming a time lapse since it may turn off if your phone overheats. So, I just recommend using a desk lamp or some other lamp that's not on the phone. Next, we have this button over here and this allows you to le select the speed and duration of the time lapse. So, just click it. We have speed and duration. But before we take a look at this, I want to show you this information panel. And this provides some really nice information about time lapse videos. Speed. It says time lapse videos shot at higher speed are slower and more condensed. Here are the different speed values suitable for different scenes. So it's like a cool guide and it will easily help you make your videos. If you're a beginner and you have no idea what it means, you can refer to this guide. So street. 4 to 30 times, clouds 60 to 90 times, sunrise or sunset 120 to 150 times, dusk 300 to 600 times, plants 900 
to 1,800 times. The duration of a shooting session is unlimited by default. You can also set the timer, which will stop the session at a fixed moment. So I recorded my time lapse using unlimited, and I just manually turned it off when I was done. But you can set a duration. So if you want your time lapse to be like one hour, 30 minutes, you can add a limit. So the longest one that I recorded was actually 21 hours, which is pretty cool. And for the mushroom time lapse, I didn't use 900 or 1,800 times. I actually used 600 times since I wanted it to be a bit slower so you can really see it growing slowly. So in the speed and duration panel, this is where you can adjust it. For the mushroom time lapse, I put it on 600. If you look at the top, you can see changing. And you can select it depending on your needs. So if you want a faster time lapse, the fastest is 1,800 and the slowest is four times. So four times regular speed, 15 times, 20, 30 times, 60 times, and so on. For the duration, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and the maximum is 240 minutes. So I selected unlimited, so I was able to record up to 21 hours. And the phone will keep recording as long as storage allows. If storage runs out, then it will stop. So you can just transfer it to your laptop and start recording again. But I have one cool tip if your phone is low on storage. So in the box of the Redmi Note 9 Pro, it actually comes with this SIM eject tool. I'm just borrowing this other box from my other phone since this is the decoration for the set. And you can go ahead and open your SIM tray. Just like this, okay? Pull it out. So those are the SIM cards and this is the space for an SD card. I'm gonna put it inside before I drop them again. Wrong way, I think. How is it supposed to enter? So if your phone is low in storage or you're like me and you bought the lower end storage variant, then you can actually buy an, a micro SD card, okay? A small SD card, not the big one, and put it inside. So inside the SIM card tray, we have this slot and I have this 128 GB SanDisk Ultra and I can put it in here to record longer videos or longer time lapses. And this will generally expand the storage of the phone so it's not only limited to time lapse videos. Now this SD card is pretty expensive, it's a SanDisk Ultra but you can buy some cheaper models. You can buy less storage if you want at a cheaper price. After you insert the SD card Go straight to settings, about phone, then storage. And then you want to format it right away. Format SD card. I'm not going to show you because I already formatted my SD card. And this is the storage of the phone. We have only 19.8 gigabytes available. Since the total is 64 gigabytes. And I have an SD card which now has a total of 128 gigabytes available. So now this phone has more than 100 gigabytes. Which is really good since... I can record longer time-lapse videos. But if you want to record to the SD card, there's one more setting that you need to do, which is in the camera app. So I'm going to go to the camera app. In the camera app, tap the three lines icon on the top right, then tap settings. And then you want to look for SD card. And then turn on save the SD card. And now the files will be saved to your SD card. And this is really cool. So actually, I never used this before. I only figured out about it recently since I opened my phone SIM card tray and I realized that there's an SD card slot. But now that your files will be saved to the SD card, you'll have more storage to record longer time lapse videos. And of course it also depends on how much storage your SD card has. For now I'm going to turn it off since my phone still has internal storage remaining. And the last tip I want to give for recording a time lapse is don't use your phone's flashlight, use a desk lamp instead and use a tripod. So let me show you what I mean. So while recording this video, my camera's been on this tripod. And as you can see, there's no way to connect the phone, right? It has this screw for the camera. And you just can't put the phone on it at all. So there's this cool accessory which you can buy, which is this phone clip or adapter which attaches it to the tripod. And then you can screw this on and clip your phone into it. And let me show you what I mean. I actually have another one. This is my second tripod. And it has this clip attachment thing. So you can just clip your phone into it if you buy one of these. And now the camera is facing here. 
and you can take a time lapse of something while your phone remains really steady since you don't want your phone to be moving around during the time lapse. If you're going to film a long time lapse for a few days, then don't forget to plug your phone into a wall outlet or use a power bank so that it doesn't run out of battery. So hopefully you enjoyed watching this video and found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe for more and help support my channel. Feel free to leave a question or comment down below. And thanks for watching.